Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it is a great honor to welcome you to the first CS CSN Mediterranean Energy Efficiency and Sustainability Conference. This event provides an excellent opportunity to reflect on our progress towards achieving climate neutrality by 2050 while sharing insights to accelerate our efforts. At the Ministry of Energy, Commerce and Industry, our long-term strategy is to enhance energy security and our country's energy isolation and promote a competitive electricity and natural gas market. We are equally committed to reducing energy costs for consumers and maximizing the use of renewable energy and energy efficiency across all sectors. Cyprus has set an ambitious goal to reach a 33% share of renewable energy sources rest in gross final energy consumption by 2030. As of 2022, our rest share stood at 19.4%, placing Cyprus in 16th place among European Union member states. Encouraging REST share in the electricity sector reached 21.5% in 2023. Our progress is supported by robust renewable energy schemes, particularly for self-consumers with Cyprus, leading the European Union in residential REST installation for own consumption and currently over 44,000 photovoltaic systems are installed for self-consumption, accounting for nearly 47% of the total installed photovoltaic capacity in Cyprus. Looking ahead, we are focused on advancing electricity storage and interconnection projects, crucial for increasing renewable energy penetration and integrating renewables more swiftly into the grid. The streamline, to streamline the permitting process for REST projects and facilitate energy renovations, we have established a digital one-stop shop to guide apl applicants through the entire process. This one-stop shop is working under the business facilitation unit in our ministry. In terms of energy efficiency, Cyprus aims to achieve cumulative and use energy savings equivalent to 30, 349 million tons of oil by 2030. Of these, 15% it must, must come from measures targeting energy poverty. And in the line with the European Union's target, Cyprus is committed to contributing to an almost 12% reduction in energy consumption at the European Union level by 2030. To meet these goals, our revised National Energy and Climate Plan includes key, key initiatives, such as the support scheme for electricity production from renewable energy for self-consumption. This scheme covers net metering, net billing, and virtual assistance for PV installations. We also offer financial support for energy efficiency measures, heat pump installations, and photovoltaic systems in residential public, commercial, and industrial buildings. We have made significant strides in energy efficiency through projects like the Energy Efficiency Obligation Scheme and the European Union co-funded upgrading of governmental buildings. We are also reassessing our support schemes to better address energy poverty, ensuring that vulnerable consumers receive the assistance they need. It is worth noting that 41% of the funds allocated under Cyprus Recovery and Resilience Plan are dedicated to advancing the green economy. These funds will modernize our electricity network, expand the use of smart meters, digitalize the REST permitting process, and support a range of REST energy efficiency and energy storage initiatives. Ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, the sustainable development of our economy is critical. The government is committed to working with all stakeholders to develop an integrated long-term energy strategy that accelerates our green transition 
while ensuring our economy remains competitive and prosperous. Thank you very much for your attention, and I wish you every success in the conference proceedings. Thank you very much.